Here are some working solutions for watching TV using your cell phone data. Perhaps you've cut the cord and eliminated your cable TV or internet provider and now you want to use your cell phone to stream TV. You can watch on your phone, but how do you get it to your TV or computer? There are several options, but some come with gotchas, like licensing restrictions that block the display of your streaming content or hitting your data caps. To avoid these challenges, I'm going to share a few working solutions and one big surprise trick you've never heard of to get more data for streaming out of your cell phone plan. Let's get started. HDMI adapters. Since modern TVs all have standard HDMI ports, you can use an HDMI adapter to connect your iPhone or Android cell phone and play TV shows from apps like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and other streaming TV services. The HDMI adapter passes both video and audio to your TV and it automatically renders the image to full screen to fit your TV picture. This is a simple solution that works on almost any cell phone and TV, but you have to make sure you select the right HDMI adapter. Cheaper clones of these adapters often don't work at all or don't work with certain apps. For the iPhone, you need to use an Apple Lightning to Digital AV adapter. This adapter plugs into the Lightning port on your cell phone, which is available on iPhone 5 or newer models and works with iPads, iPods, and other devices, basically anything with a Lightning port. This adapter includes a lightning port input as well. That's handy to keep your cell phone charged while the lightning port is used for HDMI output. It's important that you get the official Apple version of this adapter, and I'll provide a link in the description of this video. There is electronics inside this adapter that handles the translation, and cheaper clone versions of this product will not render properly for some apps on your cell phone. People complain all the time on message boards that this adapter solution does not work for Netflix and other apps, and it's simply because they bought a cheap clone without the electronics. So make sure you get the correct one. For Android phones, it works the same way. You just need to use the correct adapter that fits the connection port on the phone. Most of the newer models have a USB-C port, so I recommend a USB-C to HDMI adapter with pass-through power. This can keep your phone charged while the USB-C port is used for HDMI output. The nice thing about this adapter is that it also works with newer Mac and Windows laptops and other devices that have the USB-C port, so it serves a dual purpose. I'll provide a link to the correct adapter in the description of this video. Screen mirroring. Screen mirroring is the process of mirroring your cell phone screen onto another device wirelessly through your network. It is based on Miracast or AirPlay technology. For it to work, you'll need a TV that is connected to the same network as your phone. This generally requires a screen mirror device like Chromecast, Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter, Roku, Fire Stick, Anycast, or other type of dongle that is connected to your TV. Your smart TV may have networking built in and apps that can provide the same functionality though. Once you are on the same network, you can enable mirroring from your phone and your screen is mirrored onto the TV display. Sadly though, this solution has one major flaw. For most TV streaming apps on your phone, it requires a separate internet connection on your network and does not use the cell phone internet data. If you've cut the cord from your internet service provider, you no longer have this internet connection on your wireless network. As soon as you mirror your Netflix, YouTube TV, or other streaming app from your phone, you'll get an error stating it's unable to play the content, or you'll get an endless spinning circle on the TV. It does work for phone mirroring, but license restrictions prevent most common streaming TV apps from working properly. Tethering. With a smart TV or computer, you can tether your phone and use the cell data provided by your carrier to stream TV. On the iPhone, go to Settings, Personal Hotspot, turn on the option Allow Others to Join, and set up a password. Now you have a fully functional Wi-Fi hotspot that can be used by any device to access streaming TV services. On the Android, this is available under Settings, Network and Internet, Hotspot, and Tethering. For a smart TV, you will have options available to connect to your network. You can add a wireless connection and select your newly created phone Wi-Fi hotspot. Your smart TV will now run any streaming apps while connecting to the internet through your cell phone. 
If you don't have a smart TV, then you can add a device like a Roku that essentially turns it into a smart TV where you can set up a wireless network connection in the same manner. For a computer, connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot and download streaming TV apps for Netflix, YouTube TV, or any other services you want, or you can just run them directly in a browser. There are two main warnings when using this solution. First, you are limited to the data cap of your cell phone plan. You can easily use multiple gigabytes of data per day streaming TV, and if you hit your data cap, most carriers drop the speed down to 2G, which makes it unusable for almost everything. Second, many carriers do not provide 4G speed with a tethered hotspot. They reduce the speed to 3G even when you are within your data limits. That is often why TV apps run much slower when tethered as opposed to running them directly from apps on your phone. This may result in lower resolution or choppy video. Tethering Data Trick There is a simple trick to avoid the data cap limitations on your cell phone plan when tethering. This surprising solution works with most carriers. When data packets transmit to the carrier, they contain a Time to Live or TTL setting. The TTL decrements by one for each hop through a device until it reaches its destination or hits zero and is thrown away. This prevents data packets from floating around the internet forever. Your cell phone has a default TTL of 64 and your carrier looks for this number in data packets to provide high-speed data back to your phone. If the TTL is not 64, they throttle data when you're over your data cap. The trick to avoid throttling is to set the TTL on any tethered devices to 65 so that it decrements to 64 for the carrier. For example, a Windows 10 PC has a default TTL of 128. To change it to 65, open a command prompt and run it as administrator. If you type ping 127.0.0.1, you'll see that the TTL is 128 in these data packets. To change it to 65, type in this command and hit enter. Now when you ping, you will see the TTL is set to 65, and when you tether to your phone, you won't have throttling. It's magic. Now you can do this for a Windows PC, but you can't set the TTL on a smart TV, Roku, or other device used for streaming TV. You don't have the option. However, I do share a solution in another video by using a cell phone SIM router to set the TTL for every device on your network. So if you are interested in that solution, follow the link I provide in the description of this video. Hopefully one of these options works best for you to use your cell phone for streaming TV. I've used both the adapter and router solution and have completely cut the cord from all cable and internet providers. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.